this message is just for you. You are good enough. This is the episode for you. It is the end of the week and if you are getting tired or feeling a bit flat in your language learning, this is the episode for you. So when we start learning our language, even if we start out with boundless motivation and curiosity, it can be easy to get caught up in all the habits and the details and the target setting and end up just losing sight of why we started in the first place. So to round off this week, I wanted to invite you to spend just a few minutes remembering what draws you to your new language. Because even if you're learning your new language mainly out of necessity rather than choice, I bet that there's at least one thing about it that consistently makes you smile. So the first thing that I would love for you to do is think about a sound in your new language that you really like. It might be that it feels funny in your mouth or that you had to make really weird faces in front of the mirror to practice it. It might be a letter of the alphabet that looks like a person or an animal or just feels really elegant to write. Think about it. If you aren't in a library or somewhere really impractical, say it, write it, put little eyes on it if it looks like an animal, lean into it. And number two, once you've done that, I want you to think about your favourite word or phrase in your language. Maybe because it sounds amazing, maybe because you've got really happy memories associated with using it or hearing it, or it might be because the concept just doesn't exist in your native language, there is no word for word alternative, and you just wonder how you lived your life up until this point without it. And if you can think of a word or phrase, use it today. Figure out how you can get it into your life today. You know, just because it's great. Number three, I'd like you to think about something that's really surprising or interesting about your language. It might be a quirk in the grammar that you just find fascinating. It might be an expression that seemed completely nonsensical and random until you realised that there was some historical context that just made it all make sense. It might be something that seems so much more logical than the equivalent in your native language and you've been geeking out about it for months. Or it might be a piece of language trivia that you've learned that you would just love to be able to tell someone. Is there anyone that you can tell this fact to today? Another language lover? Someone in your language learning community? Or can you leave it in the comments below for us all to marvel over? And number four, finally, I would love for you to think about that one song or that one show that you just always come back to, that feels really comfortable and comforting and you always return to it for a bit of a lift. Maybe go back to it today just to say hi and to reconnect with your language because you are on a long adventure with this language and you're putting so much into learning it. But your language is also giving back to you. So don't stop looking for the little pockets of joy in your day-to-day -day language learning. Recognize them, love them and share them because they are there to keep you going. Have a fabulous Friday, have a fabulous weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday.